Hello and welcome back here to Assetta Corsa, a very snowy endeavor here for today. We do have that E30 street drift car out here and we are in an extremely unplowed snowy road today. You guys are taking a look at the replay run and then we will get into the actual gameplay of first person with pedals and wheel cam and everything after watching this view of it as you can see the car was sliding everywhere so i downloaded this track it was a donated donation to get the snow and dirt and asphalt version of the car or of the track so we did donate we did a little bit of a wall hit there so to get this full version of this snowy track i've never been down the track so this was the first run going down the track with absolutely no practice in the snow i didn't drive it in the drive it in the dry either and we're just as you can see this e30 i had an 80 percent boost and we were in fourth and fifth gear i could not really get any traction the slides were so slow but so fun at the same time with you know just being able to just mat it on the brakes and just like floored and just have this nice flowy smoothie smooth arc so it was definitely very fun i had a lot of fun doing the s15 drift in the alpine rally stage oh we oh, hope we don't got paid for that hope we know we saw that in the alpine rally stage and a lot of people you guys seem to enjoy that snow video so we got another snow drift video out here but this one a lot more snow a lot slipperier no traction we brought out like i said the e30 as you can see and it was just it was a blast probably should have put some snow tires on because if you see we are on some uh super sport tires and we didn't do anything other than lower the pressures just a little bit to maybe try and get some traction but it didn't really work as you can see we were just slip sliding all around that e30 definitely a fun car to drive definitely love how it looks being a non m3 and just a standard you know body without the flares and everything like that because there's not many of those out in a set of course that quick flick as you can see like there's absolutely no no problem losing traction with this car getting it sideways doing anything it's just mat the gas go had to be very careful with the front tires and we got a little bit off track there but we had to be very careful with the front tires because the front wheels if they started to slide eh, you were going head first into a wall but luckily we didn't have any big issues with that we only tapped the wall once or twice and you see there we almost overthrew it there and then we kind of just started to get the flow towards the end so a lot of you guys liked the previous video style of doing this watching the replay and you know the third person cameras and things of that nature and then getting into the nitty gritty of the first person with the wheel cam and the pedal cam and the actual gameplay of how this run was done so you guys can actually see how the run was done with all the inputs with my hands and my feet and everything and handbrake and things of that nature a lot of you guys like seem to like this style so we're gonna be trying this a couple different times we're gonna be doing some other courses maybe running this course in the dry or in the dirt but I had absolute blast doing this. So if you guys have any other cool tracks or mountain roads that you guys want to see, I kind of want to get some of my team on here and do some, uh, try and do some really slow slip slidey tandems because I feel like this would be incredibly fun to do in a tandem because it'd be super slow. You'd have absolutely just banging off each other, have to be all control. So definitely gonna try and get some of the team on and get some snowy tandems so big things coming with my channel nrg innovations and the team you guys should see some teasers of that very shortly so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which found the description box below instagram and twitter are the best ways to get a hold of me you guys direct us with me on instagram i try to respond as many as i can and as well as you guys can comment down in the comments so like i said if you guys have some sort of courses or things that you want me to do I will be glad to do it and throw them up here on the channel. I'm always up for a good challenge. So we ended up getting down to the run. We tried going up a little bit, but uh, we didn't get enough traction going up. So I think we're going to get into the actual gameplay in the first person and all the wheel cam, pedal cam. So let's get to it. All right, what happens when we take a drift car on a super, super snowy road? Oh, there's no traction. 
way less traction than I had on that other track. Oh boy. All right, well, Alpine Rally Stage is a little grippier than this. Oh my, as you can see, this is a very slow, slow going in this E30 drift car. Oh, we're gonna hit the wall. Nope, no we didn't. This is extremely slow. Just a wall tap. So this is what happens when you get on a unplowed road here in a set of Corsa in an E30 drift car. There's absolutely no no traction whatsoever. This thing is almost like it's on bald tires. But of course we are on some grippy like drift tires. You guys know this car. This car came out in my street car pack, the C30. Oh my. The amount of slow Drift, uh, dr oh, drifting that we're doing is incredibly slow and just you can see the wheel spin on the speedometer you're gonna try and complete this road though just this is so slow we're gonna pull up with the boost though so we can use fourth gear, I guess. Man, this road. I thought the other one was slippery. You can tell this one is ten times slipperier. Yep, there's a lot more snow on this road. This is actually kind of a lot of fun. I had fun doing the first snow video in my 15. So now we're doing another snow video at this time in E30. And a very snowy road. Good thing we're going downhill. If this was uphill, we wouldn't be going anywhere. So this course does have a dirt version as well. We did think we could do a... Uh, Drift car in the dirt, how it would handle, probably the same, I would think. I think we're getting uh, whoop, the throttle control down a little bit better. Oh, this looks like a. F I want to do this road in, in dry now. I don't think I've actually driven this road in the dry. Oh, we stalled it. This is crazy. I feel like this is what actually happens on roads like this in the snow. People be out here in their drift cars or their rear wheel drive cars that don't have a lot of power and you can just throw serious amounts of slides in the snow. Got this slowly I don't even know this course this is actually the first time I'm going down this course so so we managed to complete it and survive I don't know how we survived but we managed to survive this very very treacherous downhill snowy road and we're at the gas station now, so it's a good thing. We're going to try and maybe go back uphill. Oh, wait. Does the road continue? Oh, the road continues. Ah, uh, I thought we were done. Oh, we are done. That's a fence. Can't go that way. All right. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, get the traction to go uphill, but we're going to give it a quick rip uphill and see what we can try and do uphill. We kind of have a little more traction. I think we're going to take this track and pavement in a probably either the same car or another street car to see how it is in the dry as well as probably hit it in the dirt. So if you guys want to see the pavement version of this and the dirt version of this, let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I thank you for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.